going on guys uh, today I have another project ahead of me um, this is probably the biggest one this is the wiring harness that goes in the front end so this whole crazy bundle of wires I have to um, pretty much sort through what I need and what I don't need um, like there's a lot of things I can get rid of like right off the bat like the rad fan relay I can get rid of the AC clutch relay there's ABS fuses and such so what I'm doing first is I'm just what I did actually was just take it out of the fuse box holder um, and that was so I could fit it through that hole right there so I already got it out and I'm just kind of cutting back a lot of the loom now um, because I'm gonna it's either now or I'm gonna do it inside the car so I figured I'll do it right now um, so pretty much I got it to where I think I can sneak it everybody through that hole in the firewall right there um, and the other day I was talking about wires too that were a little messed up there's a bundle here um, I got like a couple wires I think messed up um, I believe that was from the previous owner whatever wheel setup he had it rubbed it so I'll fix that <laughs> um, and usually when I did the S13 I lightened the harness a decent amount so that is the goal again on this car um, definitely just make it a neater harness um, that's exactly what I've done the S13 made it a lot neater um, re-loomed it taped it looked great and rerouted it obviously so as you can see there's these like big white wires and they're all they seem to be power wires they're just I, I hate it from the factory because they're just so freaking intertangled so I got to see what I need what I don't need once I get it in the car and I'll start deleting stuff appropriately um, and rerouting obviously these wires so they're not just like tangled within each other because it looks ridiculous so um, now the goal is to get the dashboard off um, I'll get the dash off get more space see what I'm doing down there and uh, we'll get back to you all right guys so we got the dashboard out a little bit of a hassle but we did it there's a lot of things I'm gonna take out there's like a bunch of subwoofer lines and all that crap I'm gonna take that out um, a few things I found um, taking the dashboard off that are just kind of like retarded for back for lack of a better word but we're gonna sort through everything you know get it all routed the way I want and uh, we'll go from there so I think next thing up is getting up under the dash here um, I'm bolting some of these fuse boxes just to kind of pull them out of the way um, to make room for the harness to come through here and then we will find a way to route it all right after probably 20 minutes of wrestling this thing finally got it out this is it pulled in or pulled out of the inside of the dash so it's all routed let's see if we can see the hole yeah that hole is where the harness pulls through so firewall grommet right there and this is the whole thing pulled out so all I have to do is just put back a couple relays a couple fusible links and we will figure out how I want to route this thing um, which wires to cut which wires to take out clean it up a little bit better and make it a lot cleaner a little bit of progress here with the harness um, took out a few wires already um, these were already chopped I chopped them previously and just kind of fed them out the harness um, there are a bunch more wires in here um, that I pulled through up to here so far um, that I know I don't need it's usually, most of these are for like controls for the cooling fans and such because um, my fans are not going to be controlled by the ECM so I pulled them up here I'm going to zip tie them so I know that I need to take the rest of them out um, once I have over here kind of sorted through a bit I'm going to start taking wires out and kind of just unraveling them because they're so intertwined I'm going to do that and then I'll have as I was saying the GoPro just kind of 
conked out real fast. Um, I'm gonna take the wires uh, out of the, I'm gonna depin them from the bulkhead connectors here, just so it's super clean. So I'll end up doing that next. How's it going guys? Not sure if the clip that I just recorded uh, went through. I had a battery issue, but um, this harness, I ended up going through the service manual, which is this over there. A little bit of a mess, but it's a lot cleaner now. Um, went through the harness so far. Um, cut out any wires I didn't need um, and relays. So there's um, a few things. There's like the cooling fan relays, um, the AC clutch uh, relay. There's a bunch of relays that I ended up taking out, um, chopping the wires out. Um, for right now, I chopped them over here in this area and just kind of clean this up. Um, I just now labeled a bunch of the connectors. Um, some of them don't have connectors on, they're just wires that are cut. But looking through the service manual, I found out what they are. Um, a lot of it's for just the lights, um, such as like the left hand side headlight, fog light, turn signal, the clearance lamp, the side markers. Um, I have yet to find what these black connectors are. I can't find anything so far and what they are and there's one on each side so I got to do some more looking and it's not for the headlamps so I'm not sure exactly what they're for you know so I got to do some more digging into that um, but for right now I don't need to worry about it um, so far I just started zip tying the harness up um, all the wires that I needed out of it are out um, up to here for the first zip tie so I'm just kind of trying to clean it up, make it um, tighter right now, because obviously there's this big jumbled mess. So um, definitely gonna do that right now, <clears throat> get it cleaned up. And once I get it cleaned up, I'll start um, probably routing it to that location here. I'll show you guys. I wanna get the fuse boxes in this car. Oh, don't worry, I have, I have hood hinges, or hood hinges, door hinges, because this thing squeaks so bad. Um, I want to get the fuse box up in this area. This is where the airbag used to go. So what I might do is um, make a plate, bolt it in, and what I'll do is I'll have um, cutouts in it so I can hopefully push the fuse box up into it so it'll stay right there and it'll just be the fuse boxes that are the most important um, pretty much the ones that have um, the fuel pump fuse on it and I think there's another one can't think of it right now but I'll have it over here so it's easily accessible um, and also what I'll do is with the dash the dash has the as you can see right here, this is the underside of the dash, but right here is um, that little cutout and it says airbag on it. So it's bolted in here, but here these are like spring clips and so it pushes out. So what I wanna do is see if I can just unbolt it and if it's easy enough just to pop in and out, I'll leave it like that. So if I need to access it, I'll just, you know, pry up on it, pop it out and my fuses and relays are right there. That's the plan. So that's what I'm going to be working on, uh, working on shortly. But first all, or first off is the harness. I got to get that situated. So I'll start zip tying it up, clean it up more, and I'll get back to you guys. All right, so this is the harness after I just zip tied it. Uh, I just zip tied it up right now. Um, still have to do that section. Um, also because I have I think I have to fix a couple wires because the tire rubbed on it um, I just have to double check those are the wires I need but pretty much I have everything labeled like I said Everything separated as best as it can All right, so it looks a lot cleaner just kind of zip tied all the wires up to make it a little bit cleaner I honestly can't do much about this jumbled mess. They have um, because the uh, the boxes um, factory I'm assuming we're so far apart <clears throat> that they made like a lot of these wires like super long but this big power wire like literally goes from here to here and you have like a foot of it like I don't know why um, I I mean I'm not about to cut it and try to recrimp it 
Um, I don't have the proper terminal tools for that. So I'm not gonna honestly worry about that. A lot of it, like I said, is just all these big power wires that are just like super long. Like even this one, I don't understand. It's literally a wire from here to this relay. And it's like this long, like I just don't understand it, so whatever i'm not an electrical engineer they had their reasons but i'm just gonna leave it like that for now i know it looks like a little bit of a squirrel's nest but that's how it is factory so i'm just gonna leave it um this wire is just a horn wire i just pulled out of the harness um, because it was chopped um right over here by my thumb so yeah that's it right now so i'm thinking about um putting a couple zip ties in other places just to secure it a little bit better and i might actually start taping it up now i have um tessa tape for any of you guys who don't know what tessa tape is it's actually really good stuff let me go grab it tessa tape they use um in german cars you know das autos they usually use it for uh they have engine bay ones um, for like severe vibration, which I think is this stuff here. They have certain part numbers. Yeah, I think this is the vibration one, this Tessa tape. It's not electric, it's not really electrical tape looking like. It's like, it almost looks like a fabric on the end, but it's like super sticky and all that. And I got Tessa tape in here, like the regular one, somewhere in there. It's like shoved in there. It's probably like right here. Oh, shit's falling. I don't know, it's a mess up there, but I got it over there. So I'll tape that up and I'll probably use, I'll probably use this one with the vibration. Um, that would be the best to use um, just for added, um, added safety under the harness wire. I don't want it rubbing on anything. So I'll probably tape that up now and then I'll probably start routing it under the dash where it needs to go. All right. Just finished up taping um, the harness up to here. This is the Tessa tape. It's like, I don't even know if I could say it's a felt tape. A lot of you probably know what it is, but it's just, um, it's like a soft tape on the outside. It's really nice. So I just went over the whole harness. Um, besides the branches here, um, I don't want to tape those up yet because certain things I might be cutting back because I have to um, splice in a connector um because a lot of this stuff is kind of trashed as far as connectors so um i'll leave those for now until it's inside the car um and it's time to actually wire up a lot of the lights and i'll tackle all that and taping it up but yeah just taped up some of the branches um looks a lot cleaner a lot nicer and has all new tape on it so the tape will be, will be good for inside the car especially with um vibration and such so now it's time to just get it in the car see what it looks like all right a little update again the harness i got routed under here you can't even see it because i put it all back together but the harness runs along runs up along the dash bar underneath you can see the zip ties here let's go to the other side and you can see it's a little bit of a mess right now but i'm gonna stop here today because it's starting to snow but uh yeah i got the harness run along here um i have to figure out how i want to loop it because i'm just my thing is space right now so i'll loop it these aren't secured yet but i'm gonna make a like i said make a metal template and mount them mount both of these guys to it and that'll be good these i just have to chop um and when I get everything running, um, everything routed the way I want to, I'll chop these off and they have to go to battery positive. And then obviously I have to cut and extend these all out to the front. So that'll be a big project in itself because there's a million wires we're gonna have to do. But these will be routed probably right along the bottom here. But so far so good, it's routed um routed loosely i just have to figure out how i want to final final uh secure it and that's it so next time i'll work on that and we'll get that finally secured and get the dashboard back on thanks for watching guys appreciate it